Certain fireworks are one step closer to once again becoming legal in Honolulu. The city council held its first public hearing today on whether or not Oahu should bring back things like sparklers and fountains. Nikki Schenfeld follows up. Bringing back some fireworks is gaining support from many residents and council members. I am absolutely in support of that bill. Um, you know, we've seen since the ban that the illegal aerials have proliferated. So much so that now, you know, people are stopping on H1 to view all the illegal aerials. Calvin Say introduced the bill after a friend suggested making certain ones legal. It's only sparklers and it's only fountains. It's not the aerials. And he felt that, uh, hey, maybe we should have it sold in the retail market whereby the retailer has the license for that person buying it. And that was the approach. The hope is it would help eliminate some of the illegal aerials. You're already seeing how terrible it is even with all the illegal activities going on. And, you know, I think the uh, industry may be able to help us out at the uh, enforcement site, too. The bill has received a lot of support. However, the fire department remains steady in their opposition. The last time uh, consumer fireworks were legal was 2010. In New Year's Eve of 2010, we had seven structure fires. In New Year's Eve of 2011, we had zero structure fires. The use of consumer fireworks will also increase the threat of brush, brush fires, wildland fires, uh, which the community is hypersensitive to after Lahaina. Every neighborhood board meeting we've gone to, the topic of wildfires comes up every time. The state law defines uh, consumer fireworks as low-level fountains and uh, those types of devices. Nothing can go over 12 feet. Say says he believes the Department of Law Enforcement's Firework Task Force is doing a good job and will continue to help stop illegals from coming in. I truly feel the task force is working hard in trying to enforce it at the piers. The bill now moves along to a third and final hearing. We'll follow up and let you know if it passes. Nikki Schoenfeld, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.